So let's look at the app for the Emergency Response Guidebook. It works very similarly to the book, just in a more user-friendly app format. You have the ability to search by name or ID number. Remember that ID number is that four-digit ID number that you might see in that DOT hazardous material diamond on a rail car or a tanker truck. But maybe you know the name and you can just look up the name as well. You'll see that you have where you can search by an image. We'll show you those images in a minute and how you can use that. And maybe you already know the guide number. Then you can just search by the guide number itself. Maybe you know the emergency response guide number is guide 154 or guide 131. Sometimes you're gonna see that on a shipping paper. You're gonna see what the guide number is. So you can just hop right to those pages as necessary. So let's say we already know the name of the material and we just want to find the emergency response guide for that material. Well, we go to the search by name or ID number and we type in the name of the chemical that we want to find information about. Well, vinyl chloride has been in the news a lot recently. You'll see I already uh, looked up that one, so it's already in my search history, but I could just type in vinyl chloride or click on that one and it takes me straight to the guide. And just like we talked about in the paper copy of the book, if you know that four digit ID number, all you have to do is type it in and it will take you straight to the guide. Now remember, the guide is the initial emergency response. Now you are likely not the person that's going to exercise that emergency response, but you can use this guide and the information in here to keep your employees safe and maybe identify if you need to evacuate an area. Now let's look at the search by image on the app. The search by image will show you copies or pictures of common DOT placards or those big diamonds that you see on the outside of rail cars or tanker truck. Now this information is also in the paper book, but as you see here in the app, if you happen to be driving down the road and you see this solid orange placard with 1.5 noted in it, you don't have to know what that is. It tells you right there in the circle, 114. So that's the guide you go to, guide 114. So to get to that guide, I hop right back out, I browse by my guides, I scroll up and down until the guide I'm looking for, there it is, guide 114. So how do you get this app? Well, there will be apps that you'll find in the app store that have a fee associated with it. Don't worry about getting one of the ones that have a fee associated with it. The one that I use is the one that's free and it has all the same information as the ones that you would see with the fee. So go into your app store, type in emergency response guidebook, and you'll see several that will pop up. I use this one right here, ERG 2020. If I click on the details, um, this is the details of the one that I have. So you'll notice you're looking for the pipeline and hazardous material um, safety administration or PHMSA DOT. So check out the show notes for additional information on how you can find this emergency response guidebook app or maybe how you can find the paper copy and also check out the show notes for some of our DOT training in case you want to learn more about shipping hazardous materials safely. Like what you heard today? Like, subscribe, click the bell and come back soon.